Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello and welcome to the program. Welcome to Intermediate class number 162. That's right, here we are in class number 162. And they've told me that I can talk about anything today. Anything, that's right. Anything as in cualquier cosa. So, in fact, we're going to practice with the word anything here. Some answers with anything as the subject. So, for example, what could have caused the fire? What could have caused the fire? And you can say, well, cualquier cosa. Anything. Anything could have caused the fire. Anything could have caused the fire. What can I say to make her laugh? You can say anything to make her laugh. Anything you say can make her laugh. Anything can make her laugh. She laughs at everything. So really, anything can make her laugh. Cualquier cosa. What will they want to drink? They'll drink anything. They'll drink anything. They'll want anything. They'll take anything. They're not fussy. They're not picky. They'll drink anything. What can go wrong? Anything. Anything can go wrong. There are so many possibilities, so many things that can go wrong. Anything can go wrong. Now, what could get stolen if I leave the door unlocked? What could get stolen? Well, anything could get stolen. What will they ask for? They'll ask for anything. They'll take anything. They're not picky. To be picky, the adjective picky means to be overly selective. I'm not a picky eater because I'll eat anything. Kyle, what will you eat? Well, I'll eat anything. I'm not picky. I'm not fussy. I'll eat anything. Okay? What will you eat when you're starving? When you're starving. Now, we say that as an expression. It doesn't really mean that you're actually dying of starvation. But we say, I'm starving. It means I'm really hungry. So what will you eat when you're starving? I'll eat anything when I'm starving. Now, what can he say when no one's expecting it? He can say anything when no one's expecting it. I mean, in other words, you can't expect, you can't possibly predict what's going to come out of his mouth. You can't predict what he's going to say. He can say anything. He could say anything at any time. Yeah, what could he say? He could say anything. Okay. So there we go, our last bit of review. This was from class 161, but now a little review here with the word anything. Very important word. Cualquier cosa, anything. Now, let's move on. It is time for our translation list. Translation. All right, it is time for our translation list. Translation list number 59. 59 out of 60. So that's right. There are 60 translation lists. So really, um, really not very many. Uh, well, only, only one left. So after this, we have one more translation left. One more translation list, number 60. So this is our second last translation list. So here we go with translation list number 59. Number one, esta es la última lista por ahora. This is the last list for now. For now. This is the last list for now. Number two, ¿por qué no coges unos días libres? ¿Por qué no coges unos días libres? 
Why don't you take a few days off? Why don't you take a few days off? Number three, hay tanto trabajo que hacer. There's so much work to do. There's so much work to do. Hay tanto trabajo que hacer. Number four, necesitas un descanso. You need a rest, un descanso. You need a rest. You need a rest. You need a rest. Yes, I do. Number five, tienes que organizar el trabajo en tu departamento. You have to organize the work in your department. You have to organize the work in your department. Number six, nadie sabe por qué él se fue. Nadie sabe por qué él se fue. Nobody knows why he left. Nobody knows. Nadie sabe. Nobody knows why he left. Who knows? Nobody. Nobody knows why he left. Number seven. No dijo a nadie que pensaba marcharse. He didn't tell anyone he was planning to leave. He didn't tell anyone he was planning to leave. Number eight. Simplemente dejó de venir a la oficina. He just stopped coming to the office. He just stopped coming to the office. Number nine. Deja de hacerme tantas preguntas. Stop asking me so many questions. Stop asking me so many questions. Do you wish that sometimes? Do you wish that I'd stop asking you so many questions? I do, don't I? I ask you a lot of questions. I've been asking you questions every day for months on the radio. You can say, Kyle, stop asking me so many, tantas, so many questions. Questions. Number 10. Estoy aquí para ayudarte. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. That's right. Number 11. Entonces, deja de hablar tanto. <laughs> I like that one. Entonces, deja de hablar tanto. Then stop talking so much. Then stop talking so much. Number 12. Este libro ha sido muy fácil. Really? This book has been very easy. Muy fácil. This book has been very easy. Yes, it has. This book has been, ha sido, has been very easy. Good. Now, really, do you think that this book has been very easy? The translation book? Do you think so? I don't think it's been easy. I think if you want to really be demanding and insist that you you translate the the uh, sentences properly, it's quite demanding. Okay. All right. Now I would like to move on and take a look at our word of the day. Word of the day. All right. Our word of the day today is a verb once again, and it's sugerir. This is the verb to suggest. Sug suggest. Suggest. So think of the pronunciation there. The verb to suggest. Every day I suggest. Yesterday I suggested. Suggested. Da, da, da. Three syllables. Suggested. And now the noun. What's the noun of this? The verb is to suggest. And the noun. I would like to make a... What is it? Suggestion. A suggestion. That's right. When you suggest something, you make a suggestion. All right. Now, as we move into class number 165, I suggest... Excuse me, 162. I suggest that we practice some irregular verbs. Here, we're going to practice some irregular verbs in the past. So, we have some verbs... In the past, here with the D sound. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm, I stand corrected. 
I, I made a mistake. Regular. We're going to practice some regular verbs, of course. Regular verbs here with the D sound ending. In other words, as you know, there are three different possible pronunciations in the past for regular verbs. We have the hard D. Yesterday, I agreed. I agreed. And then we have the T sound. For example, every day I ask, yesterday I asked, I asked. It sounds like a T. It's not a T, but it sounds that way. And then finally we have the extra syllable. This occurs with verbs where the infinitive ends in a T or a D. We get an extra syllable. Except becomes accepted. Da, da, da. Suggest. There you go. Our word of the day, suggest. Yesterday, I suggested an extra syllable. But here we're going to focus on verbs with the hard D sound. Okay? And here we have, for example, uh, allow. Every day, I allow. Yesterday, I allowed. Every day, I allow. Yesterday, I allowed. D. So you have to force that D sound in, but it's not an extra syllable. Okay? Every day, I believe. Now, out, out loud. Yesterday, I believed. Very good. Every day, I close. Yesterday, I closed. Very good. En voz alta. Conmigo. En voz alta. Every day, I cry. Yesterday, I cried. Yes. Every day, I enjoy. Every day, I enjoy this show. Yesterday, I enjoyed the show. Every day, I move. Yesterday, I moved. Right? Every day, I plan. Yesterday, I planned. How about every day I play? Every day I play. And yesterday I played. Right. Good job. Well done. Let's try a few more. Every day I save. Save. Guardar. Archivar. Yesterday I saved. Saved. Every, every day I stay. Yesterday I stayed. Every day I prepare. Yesterday I prepared. Every day I pull. And yesterday Manu pulled. Right? <laughs> I'm looking at our, our technical, Manu. He, he's eating. He says, I can't talk on the radio, Kyle. I'm eating. He's eating. So that's his ticket out. It means he gets to avoid being on the radio because he's eating. You know? Pulled. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now as we move on, we can take a look now at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it is time now for the vocabulary of the day, our five words of vocabulary. And Manu has cleared his mouth long enough to tell me that we have three minutes. So we have three minutes. Publicar is the first word. This is the verb to publish. Publish. Cambiar. Cambiar. Now, this can be to change, but it can also be to switch. To switch. Dispuesto. Dispuesto. Willing. Are you willing to study English every day? Are you willing to study for an hour every day? Are you willing to do what it takes? Estás dispuesto, ¿eh? To be willing to. Logro. Consecución. Accomplishment. This is an accomplishment. What a great accomplishment. Aconsejable. Aconsejable, we say advisable. Advisable. It's advisable 
to study every day. It's advisable to take advantage of the course material. All right, now as we move into the last point, the very last point of today's class, we have some irregular verbs. And this time I mean it. It's true, they are irregular verbs. I said earlier irregular when I meant to say regular. But here's some irregular verbs. Leave, to pay, and to quit. These are verbs that we've seen recently. But here we're going to practice with last Sunday, el domingo pasado. So give me an affirmative answer. Did you leave early last Sunday? Yes, I left early last Sunday. So out loud, en voz alta. Did you pay the bill last Sunday? Yes, I paid the bill last Sunday. Did you quit playing football early last Sunday? Yes, I quit. Quit, quit, quit. I quit playing football early last Sunday. Did he quit the team last Sunday? Yes, he quit the team last Sunday. Did you leave the waitress a tip last Sunday? Yes, I left the waitress a tip last Sunday. Did you pay for Fitz's beer last Sunday? Yes, I paid for Fitz's beer last Sunday. Did he quit smoking last Sunday? Yes, he quit smoking last Sunday. Did you leave the house before noon last Sunday? Yes, I left the house before noon last Sunday. So there we go. With our verbs to leave, to pay, and to quit. And I think it's time for me to leave you because we're completely out of time. I'm not going to quit, but I am going to leave for a short break, but I'll be back in about three minutes with the advanced portion of today's class. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>